Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to So What? I'm your host, Tim, the Spoolman Taylor. Now, since I've tailored this shirt, I gotta tell you the God's honest truth. The other day I was walking down the street and somebody walked up to me and they said, hey, Chris Hemsworth, we loved you in Thor. They confused me with Vin Diesel, fans of the Spoolman saying, we love the way you look in that new shirt. But why are those sleeves so long? Why am I walking around with these bicep burkas on, hiding the fruits of all my labor? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to shorten these sleeves. Because you don't go to the gym and you work out. You're doing all those reps. Ah, uh, one more, come on. Literally, tears flowing from your face. One more rep. It takes me to a dark place when I think about the suffering I put my body and mind through each and every time I go to the gym. You know, I actually had to go to a Lamaze class to learn those breathing techniques. <laughs> Push. I can't do it. I can't do it. Why don't you love me, Dad? Ah! And you get out those last reps. And what do you do that all for? So you can walk around with these bicep burkas on so nobody can see the fruits of your labor? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change that. We're gonna put these guns on full display. This video is getting demonetized and you're coming with me. They should make these shirts with McDonald's stains on them already. Can you might have to save you the trouble. This shirt should have said, Schlubby Tees, put me in your friend zone. Now, truth be told, I've never done this before. So we're gonna go on this journey together. The only difference is I'm not hiding behind my computer screen. I'm putting myself out here for everyone. So if I mess up, then so be it. I'm not gonna edit it. Maybe you should be wearing these bicep burkas. Save people the horror of looking at those disgusting little twizzlers you call biceps. Leave this to the real men. So what do you say, guys? Let's get the tailoring like an alpha. I want this shirt to fit where the sleeve comes to the halfway up my bicep. Not the whole thing, because you know, you wanna leave something to the imagination. You wanna at least show, hey, these are real. And yeah, they're spectacular. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take three inches off these sleeves and you can't stop me. The hem on this shirt looks to be about a half inch. I wanna take three inches off this shirt, but we're gonna need another half inch to flip around to make the hem. Since I've never done this before and I wanna make sure I don't screw up, even though I'm not afraid to, so I'm gonna take off two and a quarter inches. Now it's time to measure and make our cut. I'm gonna iron these sleeves just to make sure my measurement's nice and exact. I can hear it now. Oh, you're not ironing it right. You know what? Go ahead and make a video on how to iron correctly and I'll hop over to your comment section and tell you what you're doing wrong. Two and a quarter. The store I go to did not have fabric chalk, so I bought sidewalk chalk. It's like this sidewalk chalk box has two uses. Now we're gonna use this hem tape. You can get a rough idea of how much I need and cut it before I put it in there. Do that twice, because you, unless you want to do one sleeve, which is fine, you can just do one sleeve. Maybe you only have one good bicep. You probably have none. We're gonna flip this shirt inside out. We're gonna take stick the hem tape underneath the seam as we fold over, and it looks like it's gonna be easier to do this in sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Now this should stick. Flip this over and attempt to do the other side. This is uh, one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. What that hem tape does is that you iron it. It sticks the seam, the fabric together. I'm going to need to fill in a little extra spot here. Wasn't long enough. That's what she said too. Okay, as you can see, I did an absolutely horrible job, but we're gonna roll with it. Now we're gonna apply what we learned from the first side, which was absolutely nothing. One strip at a time. That worked better. See guys, we're learning together. What if tailoring's really the friends we meet along the way? 
Let's flip it inside out and see what it looks like. As you can see, it's pretty ugly. Let me see if I can fix that. I'm gonna try and get this seam as nice and straight as possible. You know what? I think that's gonna work. It's about as good as it's gonna get. It's time to get out the sewing machine. In order to do this and give it a nice factory hem like you see on most t-shirts, we're gonna need to use this twin needle. Now we're gonna put in our twin needle. Remember guys, don't ever share needles. Let's start. And back stitch it a few times. And then let's go. Try and keep this as straight as possible. Kind of using the presser foot here to keep it level with the side of the, the fabric. It's okay. Don't have to go so fast. Slow it down a little bit. Whew, take a breather. Okay, whenever you guys are ready, we're gonna continue, okay? I'm not freaking out at all. I'm worried about you. Okay, let's go. Okay, we got to the end. Now it's time to back stitch a couple times to lock that thread in there. Okay, you can see there. Got a nice new seam, and honestly, I don't think it looks that bad. I could have done better ironing it, so I'll have to live with that. If you're out there looking at my shirt that closely, you've probably got bigger problems than mine. And we're on this sewing adventure together. We're going to take what we learned from doing the first side and apply it to the second side. And that is, I'm going to start a thread on the existing seam on the inside of the arm. So that way you're not going to see the beginning and end of the thread. Yeah, it looks good, right guys? Oh, that's what's that? Yeah, it looks like complete shit, doesn't it? Well, unfortunately, shortening the sleeves have brought them back to this baggy state. But fear not. Let's measure how much we want to take off this sleeve. We're going to measure this baggy piece of shit. We're going to take an inch and three quarters at the top of the sleeve. And we're going to taper that down to about an inch at the bottom. So we're going to start an inch and three quarters. We're going to be at about an inch right here. And then we're going to just blend it right into this side seam. Make sure you switch back to a zigzag stitch. Okay, guys, let's go. Coming slowly in. Okay, as soon as we hit the end of the sleeve line, I'm gonna go more aggressively towards the existing hem that's right here. Okay, once we meet up with that hem, we're gonna reverse stitch. We're done. Lock that stitch in, baby. Okay, uh, let's go. Time to cut off this extra fabric on the outside of the new stitch with our pinking shears. It's time to try it on again. Well, what do we have here? Look at that. Now you thought I was gonna mess it up, didn't you? I know, when you saw that last thing and you saw the sleeves were baggy again, you're like, you know, there's no way he's gonna turn this around. But look at that, huh? How's that even real? Hmm. Yeah, I do like the way it came out. It's not recording, is it? Oh yeah, you think it's all biceps? What about the triceps too? I think yours should be called try harder seps. So for all intents and purposes, that's how you hem your shirt to show off those guns. Now when people see you, they're gonna have to check their glasses. Honey, I don't have my glasses on. Is that Chris Hemsworth over there? Side effects of having a shirt that fits like this? Extreme confidence. Sure, the seam may not be perfect, but it's better than your form when you're trying to bench 135 and you need somebody to help it off your chest. I can still hear the sounds of your screams in my sleep. Help! Help! I can't do it! It's too heavy! So there you have it, guys, and maybe one or two girls that watch this. That's how you tailor your shirt! This just came today in my alpha male. Ooh, my pronouns are now he, hims his shirts to fit like an alpha. I loved you and Thor. Oh, thanks. You know, it happens all the time. Look guys, I'm sorry I got a little carried away. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. But thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time, okay guys? Take care. Dare I say perfect shirt?